happening boys and girls it's Halloween wow. and earlier I was rocking such classic horror songs as uh, Monster Mash and uh, well I wanted to play Ghostbusters and Thriller I didn't get to that because it's just so gorgeous today I just couldn't stay so uh, yeah and there was a little bit of a car accident or some medical emergency down there but I can't zoom with this thing so too bad and uh, that her song I played oh yeah I played that classic from uh, from uh, Sam the Shaman the Pharaohs there uh, it goes something like this hey there little red riding hood are you sure are looking good you're everything a big bad wolf could want listen to me and look there's a Porsche typical colorless Porsche oh but I saw a brown one today that blew my mind look at that guy driving this thing's fight three man <laughs> no no big no big pickup for the little guy right oh man there's a rig with a wide load or something over there in the traffic ah the hell with it forget about it uh, we're gonna go anyway we're gonna jaywalk anyway here came by here to see if i gotta uh, before i start things off with this video and do a a little response from that fire station over here i think it's 34 but uh Man, I think, I think seriously, I think I filmed like maybe two, three responses from that station. That's it. Compared to the other ones, like just repeatedly over and over and over and over again. And you know, a fire station is really old when you see one of the windows are actually open. There's no, seems to be no central air. There seems to be only a ladder in there, that uh, troublesome Rosenbauer. And even though I'm talking, I might have heard the chime just now. So we're going to hang back a bit here. Uh, you know truth be told yeah let's put the camera there truth be told i'm pretty freaking tired actually <laughs> i was out even early this morning i went out went out for a few hours in the east end and look i'm so tired i don't even want to hold the camera right now gopro so uh but i'm doing it anyway because it's gonna be dark soon i'm wearing sunglasses and i'm not john belushi or or dan Aykroyd. but i'm much more like don dan Aykroyd because i'm slender i'm tall and i'm a proud canadian and i'm sure dan Aykroyd is still canadian in his heart even though he's been american also a long time i used to live on the street over here by the way it's a pretty dumb here a street i had a bad experience living here for three months and i'd actually rather uh not go into it right now so since like i said it's a halloween eve i figured uh, we'll go walk around a little bit as much as i can take it anyway and uh be some trick-or-treaters and stuff and it's funny because i talked to grant earlier he's like ah oh, i look kind of creepy if you do that and i thought of it too but you know the problem is the brain is always overthinking always overthinking about this or that tit for tat jeez murphy you gotta be more like that guy i look up to practically i, I watch his videos there a small brained american uh, connor that's his name that guy's got balls but he's a lot like a canadian too he's more like a canadian than american he's very friendly and he doesn't he comes from atlanta you know but he doesn't because he's from a big city don't have that that georgia accent like my friend uh my friend ed Beatty does from savannah so let's move it along on the street i never remember the name of it here i think it's terbun or notre dame de grosse anyway something like that let's go see what happens uh sign 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 no sign don't you hate when an intersection has no sign that's annoying that's pretty annoying see my plan was originally to go walk this way walk west and like man i've done that so many times i even actually did a walking video come to think of it i think it was like a year ago at that starting from that same intersection but moving in north northward on the carry or i should say even over the carry actually so it's a good thing mayor plant is uh gonna be going out soon there because uh because she really like did a great job of pissing taxpayer money and uh, you know redoing sidewalks and making the sidewalks bigger like this in so many places and they can turn around and say whatever they want like oh it's safer slows cars down yeah but it's on our freaking nickel man we the taxpayers pay for that shit is it necessary to put up shrugs and bushes and flowers everywhere and make sidewalks larger and all do this and that detail no so i'll just leave it at that i said my piece just past the 102 stop 102 stop going uh uh gonna go north that one now uh, all the way to coat st luke road mm -hmm. i don't know what that building is and now we're on see there's highway 15 to carry which you saw me start from there but this is the Kerry Road, interestingly enough. And then actually the Kerry Road ends at uh, Villa Maria Metro uh, at the top over there, north. Yeah, there's some signs there. 
There's a kid who looks like he's dressed up like Mario, or Super Mario. Or what the hell is this? What's this for? Anyway. Oh, look at this amazing, beautiful view you have here. It's gorgeous. I love walking down. Highly recommend to walk down that street. Some nice old buildings, nice old view. You know, oh, I didn't even show you the street sign again. Okay, I'll try to show you guys that. I don't want to, like, keep walking this one street here. But I'm walking towards Westmount now. And uh, both areas are long common. Very old. Very Anglo. And uh, also, uh, of course, the only difference is that... Uh, Oh yeah, and in both areas have a lot of crummy roads, but Westmount is the richest part of actually uh, Montreal. And uh, some of these roads are so decrepit, you would never think that there was a lot of money. Beautiful foliage here. Beautiful foliage. I guess I also wanted to do this too, to see how many kids are actually out trick-or-treating. You know, some things are seem to be kind of lost today, like in tradition, you know? Uh, Jesus, I remember even one year when I was a little kid, I went trick-or-treating my mom. And, uh, look at that. And, uh, is this thing filming? This is locked exposure. What happened here? Oh, wow, look at this beautiful piece. Oh, my lordy. Fantastic. Yeah, anyway, uh, I went trick-or-treating my mom in the rain. In the rain. I'm going to stop this a moment here. You know, at a Halloween, this house has got a lot of eeriness to it. It definitely looks like it has a haunted thing to it. I'm sure it probably isn't, but man, even those lights in the front, you know, I always, almost expect the, the lightning bolt to hit all of a sudden. <laughs> Just like in the movies. <laughs> what is it about old houses, eh? The old, oh Christ, I even live in an old apartment building. You know, it's only, what, uh, you know, four units. And but it is creepy sometimes because it was built over a hundred years ago. You know, you got all the, all the floors are lopsided. It's dark, you know. So, uh, yeah, you know, actually, speaking of which, since it is Halloween, I'd like to, you know, me, you guys, you know me, I, I, I love the paranormal. I've, I've loved horror movies since I was a kid. I could rattle off a bunch of movies I watched over the years I loved. Uh, tell me, tell me a true paranormal experience you've had, okay? I've mentioned a few, like the knockings on my wall, for example, or the fact that actually a couple of years ago, two, three years ago, I really lost track of the streets here. I gotta tell you where we are here. Wow, look at, I gotta go check that out. That major, major display there. Where are we here? Oh yeah, yeah, okay, uh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Cote Saint Antoine. Cote Saint Antoine and Marlowe. Oh yeah, I was on the bus earlier and they said, Prochain arrêt du Marlowe. What a bunch of bullshit, man. I hate this province sometimes. I hate this city how they piss our money away. Du Marlow, Du Clifton. What kind of garbage is that? More fuck you to the Anglophone. I tell you right now, man, that's the way it's come down to. I, I'm embarrassed sometimes to be a Quebecer to Montreal. Je suis embarrassé des fois. Et je suis certain que les Québécois, c'est la même affaire que moi. Ils sont embarrassés par des niaiseries comme ça. Wasting money or way like that because they're threatened by the Anglophones. They're threatened more than ever by the Anglos. Okay? It's not called Montreal for nothing. Montreal stems from Mount Royal. An English name, Tabarnakis, it called this. Anyway, I'm gonna stop right now because I get, you know, I get really emotional about this more than ever. To me, it just, it makes about a sense as much as that the war is going on, you know? So, I hope I don't look at this like, you know, whatever in a few days and, and say, oh, I'm gonna edit that out, you know? That would not be, uh, not be kosher. Yeah, can you tell us Russia? I almost forgot, I wanted to see the decorations on that house there. Include that, they're caught. Did I tell you, we must have hit a record today. We must have broke a record today. Halloween 2024, I swear to God, it was either 24 or 25 degrees Celsius today. This is stupid, you're a moron. And you're going fast too, how is that safe for your kid, man? All the traffic around now is getting dark, people getting drowsy and tired because it's getting so dark earlier. I'm not in a bad mood, okay, mind you, I'm a little bit tired, I'll admit, I'll admit. Oh, there's music playing there though, oh boy. I'm gonna have to somehow block that out. Look at this, eh? Holy mackerel, that's amazing. That's what the kids need, man. Get away from those damn phones. Amazing. Oh my God, there was Thriller playing on top of that. I really can't stay. That's one of my favorite songs. Oh, oh my God, there was even Thriller playing there. Sorry guys, if I had let that play, I would have never been able to, to monetize. I think even probably there's certain songs like that. Michael Jackson, The Beatles, a lot of artists like that are so big that 
you can't even use their music you can't even you can't even put in a song in the video and the video will just be blocked so it's a good thing i was smart to cover up my little uh, microphone there on that jazz you know it's funny because originally i was actually going to go to uh that's a sharp jeep eh? originally i was actually going to go to uh Ville Saint Laurent, I don't know. I was on the MR73, I was pretty tired. I said, ah, oh, the hell with it. I'm just gonna just stay on and see where things happen, things go, you know. Look at MR. Yeah, man, I love people who have, uh, like I said, an appreciation for tradition, just like that other house, you know? It's tradition, Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, you know. But would I be able to live in an area like this? I don't know. Some people can be, you know, pretty snooty. I, I remember I walked around here a few years ago, I think. Yeah. Of course, I keep thinking about, every year I keep thinking about how uh, many years ago, I remember I was downtown on Halloween, and I look in the distance like a block away, and, and I swear to God, you know what, what was driving on the cross street, whatever cross street it was across uh, St. Catherine, I don't know, Stanley, Metcalf, some, Freaking, I swear to God, it must have been a 1930s or 40s hearse, I kid you not. And the guy had the top hat too, like the Mad Hatter. What a trip. Look at it. What, speaking of a trip, look at this home. Hey? Eh? Wow. That could be one of the oldest homes in Westmount. There's a good chance that home is 250 years old, maybe more older. Probably not because, you know, the trouble is the older these buildings get the more they need work or restoration or in some cases they can't even be repaired it's too expensive it's just mind you there's a fire station up here somewhere though that uh that uh one of the oldest stations in the city it's around here somewhere and then they turned it into condos so but it's westmount so you know and uh yeah not too not too many trick-or-treating eh here, this one even has also has a little bit of an eerie thing going to it, eh? Mm -hmm. You know, there are actually people who think if you sing a certain song, especially like Thriller, you're gonna get dinged for it, and they're gonna you're gonna get a copyright notice. That's ridiculous. It might as well be run by dictators like Trump if I if, I, if that was the case. You know, I mean, think about that. I was just gonna blurt out, start singing that song because it's part of my youth. You know, what I mean, when Thriller came out in 1983, I was seven years old. My brother had the album, the 33. So, cause this is Thriller, Thriller night. I'm not Michael Jackson, that's for sure. Yeah, not too many trick or treating, eh, around here. Rich people are too busy for this, I guess. There's some truth to it, though. I mean, really, that's the thing. The matter, the fact of the matter is, if somebody's rich, usually they work their ass off to make that money, and they're still working their ass off to maintain and be able to pay the bills and their yacht and the car payments and insurance and all that stuff, man. And I'll tell you something right now. When it comes to luxury cars, a lot of them are money pits, man. I mean, especially BMWs, old Beamers and Mercedes, those cars will cost you an arm and a leg and high mileage alone just to repair. So you got to have money. Like, I mean, think, I think people, who, you know, like younger people, they're like, oh, wow, BMW, uh, $5,000, whatever, whatever model it is, what year they, they think it's a steal. Yeah, it might be a steal to buy it, but to maintain and repair it is a whole other story. You know what I mean? It's not a freaking, uh, it's not a freaking Ford Tempo or something. <laughs> so you know but if there's one there's a couple of things i've noticed though because earlier i was walking a long time on sherbrooke street which is down there i started from atwater as i've done a lot of times and i noticed two things first of all there is an incredible absurd amount of electric cars around here okay speaking of expensive cars and secondly it's still clear that white people will actually still control the world because you look at all the all the girls there's so many of them that are just blonde haired white white blonde haired girls but they're not having a, a tough life you know what I mean? Like it's like it's like me. My life is already difficult because I have a visual handicap. But I mean, I, when people have heard say in my comments that I look a bit like, or I'm like Steve Buscemi, yeah, of course. Uh, so being looking weird or different is not necessarily working in your favor sometimes, you know, or helping your self-esteem. But the better looking your life you are, the farther you're going to go in life. And how many ever see you people? You ever see people are really good looking that are homeless? It's almost non-existent. Your life is set up, man, from the start. It's like when you're born, being born into money. It's the same thing. Okay, I'm not sure where to go. I don't know if I want to keep going down this road here. 
I don't know, I don't know. I thought it would be really freak me out if there was a hearse that drove by, drove by, but ah, the beautiful remaining foliage. Look at this antique, look at that. Wow, yeah, that's really old, man. Look at the, all the accents on that. Fabulous. Fabulous. You no, know, that reminds me of my friend Ed. You know my friend Ed? His father lives here in Westmount, but not up here. You know, because Westmount, the thing is, the more you go up, the bigger the houses are, the more they're expensive. But he lives, like, more towards Sherbrooke, you know? And uh, I saw his place once. There we go, there we go. There's some trick-or-treaters. Boy, they look pretty old for trick-or-treating. There right now, man. I don't know how old I was when I stopped. Probably 13, 14, I guess. Eh? Yeah, let's see some trick-or-treating. Let's see some, let's see some uh, costumes and happy kids laughing because man i'm telling you, the way the world is going right now i don't know about you but uh i don't know when i'm gonna put up this video but i'm getting worried about the election look at that that's got to be an architect that built this check this out it's so discreet you can hardly even notice it look at that roof design it's like an old gas station that wedge it's so bizarre that's one of the thing, uh, things actually i've always loved and, and my friend grant will agree with me when you walk in old neighborhoods like this these wealthy areas like here in Beaconsfield and all that you know you see a variety of homes but again you see the guy the odd guy who's the architect you know he made a fortune and designed his own house and had it built so you know there you go look at that a boy look at this guy he's like friggin 65 70 years old. he's pushing he's running man he's in shape good for you buddy I don't know sometimes I've been wondering lately I'm like is it healthier to be walking or running and I think I don't know I got a feeling sometimes maybe walking is maybe better because I think if you're running, maybe that's a little bit too much on the heart. I don't know. All right? Oh, I hear another Porsche. Oh yeah, classic 933. Oh baby, or 933 or 911. Yeah, man, my shoulders love their Porsches. Holy shit, I tell you. Look at that. That's cool, man. That's when. I, look at that. Holy shit, that's well done. That's a thumbnail right there. <laughs> your house is going to be on YouTube. <laughs> Great success. <laughs> now I'm really glad I came here. See, a few trick-or-treaters, some decorated oldies, some decorated antiques here. Right? I could only dream of owning a home like this one day. Speaking of what I was talking about, the cost of uh, of these, these, these luxury cars and how, you know, even use their, their uh, you know, uh, they're, they're expensive to maintain or repair, specifically repair. But, I mean, a home, imagine a home like, look at this size of this place, man. Built probably in like 1920s, 30s, for sale. Well, I'm sure it's only probably two, three million dollars, you know. Oh, this actually looks like it could be Ed's dad's place. Uh, Ed, Ed's dad's street. Where's the thing? It's a creepy tree, eh? Oh man, I'm so glad I did a video, even I'm so tired. Look at that, eh? But you know me, we're stuck in the past. Not to be a wet blanket once again. Okay, see, there needs to be more vehicles like this. Well, it's the city of Westmouth, of course it's American. I don't even know how the hell they wound up buying a freaking Toyotas or whatever they are for security. Uh, but that's the way everybody's going. That's the way of the wind, man. You know, like you look everything around here, everybody's driving foreign cars. Nobody cares about American cars anymore. That's what it sucks about being old school. I love these old Chevys and Studebakers and all that stuff. Mercury, Marquis. But the fact of the matter is, I don't think America will ever be great again in cars. And it, and don't get mad if, if I mean, unless you've been living under a freaking rock for crying out loud. I mean, seriously, it's 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 pathetic. I hate it. It's I understand these cars are much better. They're superior quality. They're more reliable. I get it. But it's just, it's such a shame because that's not how it used to be. You know, when I lived actually with my brother for a couple of years on Claremont, which is the dividing line between NDG and, and uh, Westmount, which is uh, about down there, aren't we? And, uh, you know, there were still there were still some old cars. Like, I, I remember there was a guy somewhere from near here. He had a white 60 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. I think he drove it regularly. Got a few pics of it and uh, whatever else I saw. But, uh, yeah, it's just, what are you gonna do? Look, everything is just foreign, like this. You know, it's, it's unusual to see that around here. Actually, my aunt and uncle had one of those uh, Equinox. Probably a piece of junk, but I don't want to say it too loud because I don't want those people to hear me. Okay, I'm getting tired on this street. Let's head down. Let's get down. Let's get down on... Uh... Yeah, it's getting harder to see things in the dark, eh? Like I'm freaking, you know, freaking wearing sunglasses here. Oh, 
something this morning. Fine. Where is the sing? Oh, there it is. Oh, I got a cross over there. No, let's do it. Okay, see that? Everybody's afraid because I'm filming. That's good. That's good. Mind your P's and Q's, man. The city, like, I don't know how many other cities where people, like, they don't even stop at you. Uh, they don't even slow down anywhere anymore to stop at a freaking uh, yellow light. Everybody just goes right through it more than ever. Oh, we're at Victoria. Oh. Yeah, okay. All right. That's fine. Let's do that. Let's do that. Oh. I mentioned that G-Wagon earlier when I filmed a... Uh, much rarer than that is a Land Rover Defender I saw earlier. Yeah. Dominoes around here. People order dominoes around There's more music here. Shit. Okay, somebody's playing like some kind of a soundtrack from a movie. And I, I'm trying to get away quickly. I don't want that to, again, infringe on my uh, little filmmaking here. A joke of a <laughs> video. <laughs> well, at least, thanks to my friend from high school, at least I'm using a GoPro. And the shaking is no longer a factor whatsoever. I just wish after seeing my friend Pat's uh, uh, video he did of me... Uh, uh, with me in the metro ride in downtown recently and also that same day a little walking video that i i definitely wish i could film in 4k and i can it's just that i'm so freaking poor that my computer is 12 years out of is 12 years out of date so i can't handle at all the 4k so you know i'm very impressed i'm very impressed i have to say it's nice to see people are still in the spirit of things but you know you have to wonder a guy like white people like me uh, what are we going to be the significant factor in the future uh, because a lot of people, it's not a religion. They don't care about Halloween. So, and if you think that's racist, you're out of your mind. I mean, seriously, it's the same thing with Christmas or Thanksgiving. It's like all these old gas guzzling cars I love. That's really a white people culture thing. Like, just like the Beach Boys and whatever, Thunderbirds. It's not... It doesn't prends pas la tête à Papineau, you know? Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, wow, that kid actually talked back. I'm impressed. All my kids are afraid of me, you know. I'm six foot three, the big sunglasses, you know. A little bit afraid. That's all right. Oh my God, I couldn't have planned this perfectly. It's beautiful. Look, it's almost dark, but it's not dark. The lights have come on. People trick-or-treating on Victoria and Windsor. Yeah, Ed's father's place actually was built in 1927. Like I said, he lives somewhere around here, not on Atwater, but... And uh, walking in this place really, like, really, like, blew my mind, frankly. It's like a time warp. It's like, basically, like, you've gone back in time. It's really something else. Yeah, I guess it kind of makes sense they're all here, these kids, because up there, where were we? We were on uh, St. Antoine. There's not as many homes. Everything is more, like, spread out. Everything here is, like, kind of like San Francisco. Uh... Oh, I guess it's a bit out. Like San Francisco, you know, all the townhouses are all like tight together and tight knit, you know, and I guess that's the thing. Makes sense. Of course, uh, if I didn't mention, when I was a kid, we'd go trick-or-treating and we lived in Roxborough and, uh, you know, it's not like this at all. It was big suburban houses, eh? And uh, so, oh, wow, look at all this stuff here. Holy mackerel. My lord, it almost looks like a garage sale here. <laughs> But then again, I'm blind, I'm wearing sunglasses. <laughs> uh, documenting, documenting, I'm documenting. Look how many people are into the spirit of all that. That's great. Wow. Okay, I'm actually wondering if there were times in more later years if I was at my parents' place or my dad's place and they'd turn out the lights so like, you know, there wouldn't be anybody trick-or-treating. And that's when you know a town has money, eh? when the stop sign actually flashes. Right. Wow, you see how much juice this camera takes? I don't even think I've been filming that long. How long have I been filming? 15, 20 minutes. I must have started at 70 something percent. I'm already down to 36. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now we're coming up to Sherbrooke. Sherbrooke. You know, I just, it's funny because I also came out here too because because we broke a record today. There's so many people are out. There's more uh, emergency response calls. So, you know, earlier when I was uh, in Montreal, North Lot, I got quite a few responses. And uh, I got one somewhere on the way here, but I haven't heard anything for an hour or more. And I guess it's just because people are aware of all these trick-or-treaters. Little kids are out trick-or-treating, so just driving 
extra extra careful even though they should be driving like that all the time right none of this me 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 business oh it smells like seafood it smells like a seafood restaurant hey eh? i didn't i didn't really i didn't really expect to hear people music coming out of their places and all that and that kind of like uh it's kind of like uh a little weird i was just like i had to you know again block the speaker the microphone especially the the thriller i'm like geez you know it's uh i mean a perfect life you could have whatever music waft into your video and nobody would care but and there are a lot of artists that don't care because whatever revenue is generated from that that video do you share with the artist you know and i or even been given rights to them having the, the the money from that video i don't care i just I like a song so much that's music it's like whatever costs i don't care i don't care you know Well, I think I'm going to stop and sit here somewhere at Sherbrooke. I don't know if I'm going to continue this. I'm a little bit tired now. Well, actually, I said that at the beginning, probably. So, any vintage elevator in here, maybe? Ooh, stop here a second. Okay, even though I'm tired as hell, I'm walking home. I wasn't going to do this because I'm tired, but I'm like, man, geez, compared to where we were, holy cow, it's like all of Hoshalaga is out right now. It's crazy the amount of kids and their parents are out right now. Anyway, I'm only so many blocks from my place. I gotta stop at the dip on her and get Gloria some litter. I'm really down to the bare minimum on that. So, might as well run this battery out, so to speak. It's got 26% battery left. You know, now that I think of it, maybe it's because also to come to think of it, I mean, when I moved here 11 years ago, it was. It was really like, you know, Francais Québécois. It still is most majority, but the neighborhood's changing quick. I mean, there's a lot of black people, there's a lot of Arabic folk, there's Asians. I mean, uh, it's uh, changing rapidly, but still, it's uh, still pretty white. And I'm walking fast because I'm tired, so this is like fast forward. Eh? Fast forward. And now I do Ontario. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a good day, man. Been a good day, but I want to. Yeah, there's a little too much music. Once again, more music here playing, and I got to keep talking so it doesn't interfere with me trying to make a few bucks out of this shiz.